What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. This past weekend was the 2024 Summer Game Fest, a showcase of all the hottest new projects and games within the gaming industry, and one of the biggest gaming events of the year, which is why, for those of us here in the Overwatch community, we were eagerly anticipating getting some sort of update or announcement pertaining to our favorite franchise, Overwatch. In hopes that something exciting would be announced, I even went ahead and streamed the Summer Game Fest this past Friday, and lo and behold, there was nothing. But hey, no worries, we weren't expecting anything to be announced on Friday, as we were actually expecting Overwatch news to be coming out on Sunday during the Xbox Games Showcase. Seeing as, historically, for the past two years, the Xbox Games Showcase in June has been used by Blizzard to not only announce the release date of Overwatch 2 back in 2022, but also the trailer and release date of the highly anticipated PvE back in 2023. And while both of those things may have ultimately ended up being a little underwhelming once we actually got our hands on them, surely Blizzard would still have something to show for Overwatch 2 in 2024, since, well, this marks the first Xbox game showcase where Microsoft actually owns Overwatch, given that they are now the owners of Blizzard. And so, with high anticipation, we all tuned in on Sunday to hear what Blizzard had to say about Overwatch, and lo and behold, there was... Nothing. Not a peep. Warcraft got their segment, Diablo got theirs, but Overwatch wasn't even so much as mentioned. No trailer for the new season, which is supposed to be releasing in a little over a week. No teaser for the upcoming new hero, Space Ranger, which is going to be releasing in the season after, and is already gearing up to be a very highly anticipated new addition to the roster. And no reveals or announcements for other exciting new features and content coming to Overwatch. Instead, we were all left with just silence. So, what exactly does this mean? Well, getting past just the disappointment of not having one of your favorite gaming franchises show up at any given gaming festival showcase thing like this, I do think it is probably indicative of the state of Overwatch at this point in time. No, I am not saying that Overwatch 2 is dead, the game of course is still very big and very successful, but I do think it's at a point in its life where the big exciting things aren't really happening, not right now at the very least. Sure, Blizzard probably could have shown off the trailer, for the next upcoming season, which is, again, starting in only about a week, the timing seems to work out perfectly. I mean, we're already reaching the point where we'd otherwise expect to be seeing a trailer for this new season, so why not show it off at a huge event like the Xbox Games Showcase? Well, the reason probably is that they're just wasn't anything exciting to show off in this season's trailer. I already made a video covering all the new content we're expecting to get in this next upcoming season for Overwatch 2, and while a new map and new battle pass and other cosmetics and whatnot are nice additions to get to any given season, they aren't anything comparable to the debut of PvE or the release of the game itself. Sure, there's always the possibility that Season 11 holds some sort of exciting new release that Blizzard has just been keeping hidden from us up until now, but given that they didn't show up at the Xbox Games Showcase, I think that's more than likely not going to be the case. Season 11 is probably going to be a pretty standard season, the new map releasing, some minor reworks and balance changes to things, plus the new Battle Pass, but nothing terribly exciting beyond that. Now, personally, I'd kind of anticipated this to be the case even before the weekend where we didn't get anything said about Overwatch. But, as I previously mentioned, the next season, Season 12, is anticipated to be seeing the addition of Space Ranger, the next upcoming support hero, who is a character which people are already pretty hyped for. She has a really cool design and interesting backstory with her being from Mars, and support heroes are always interesting additions to the roster, even if they're only interesting in so far as how uninteresting they ultimately end up being. So whether it be some sort of early preview or teaser or sneak peek or trailer or something for Space Ranger, again, Xbox Games Showcase feels like it would have been the perfect opportunity for Blizzard to start generating that hype again. Sure, we'd still be waiting more than two months for her to actually release in the game in Season 12, but that's basically what they did last year with Season 6. They showed off the trailer for all the Invasion PvE missions and even teasers Olari, that season's new hero, before the release of the previous season, Season 5. So the precedent had absolutely been set for Blizzard to give us something during the Summer Game Fest weekend, but lo and behold, we got nothing. 
Nothing to show for it, no exciting announcements, not even a smidge of a trailer for season 11, and it certainly does have me a bit disappointed. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it is perhaps not unexpected. Blizzard did, of course, undergo some significant layoffs earlier this year, many of which hit developers directly working within the Overwatch team, and I'm sure at this point we are now probably starting to see the actual real impact of those layoffs in terms of the production pipeline and content being produced and put out in each Overwatch season. And so it could very well end up being the case that Blizzard just doesn't have anything big to really show off. Maybe whatever we end up getting in Season 11 just doesn't feel significant enough. And so Blizzard is like, why spend the time and money putting together a Xbox Games Showcase trailer for it if it's just going to be the bare minimum of content? Why feign all the hype and excitement for a season, which I'm sure players will still enjoy, but isn't necessarily going to in and of itself be a reason for players to either re install the game after having not played it for a prolonged period of time, or even install it for the very first time if you're a newcomer. Maybe after nearly two years of everyone mocking Blizzard and Overwatch 2 for its time and time again failure to live up to the expectations that have been set by the original Overwatch, they just felt there was no reason to once again bring it into the limelight, only to set expectations that the game would ultimately fail to live up to and thus trigger more ridicule. Perhaps we're entering a period with Overwatch 2 where Blizzard is just going to be playing it safe, having the bare minimum in terms of marketing and promoting the game for a bare minimum amount of content output as the game enters what may end up being a life support state for the time being. Again, I imagine internally at Blizzard things are not great. The layoffs were massively impactful, not to mention the acquisition of Blizzard by Microsoft, which I'm sure brought about even more changes internally that have delayed the progression of things. And as such, maybe Blizzard is just playing it cool with Overwatch. Maybe they're just going to put out Season 11, we'll get the trailer probably within the next few days. It'll be another decent season that keeps people moderately invested in continuing to play the game, giving them new skins to grind for. But in terms of there being any sort of bombastic showcase of new content for Overwatch? I don't think that's happening anytime soon. All this in conjunction with the fact that we know BlizzCon 2024 isn't going to be happening in November does definitely paint this picture of Blizzard being in a sort of recessed state at the moment. Why did they cancel BlizzCon? Why was Overwatch not present during the Summer Game Fest? There's any number of possible reasons for either of those, but honestly, at the end of the day, I think the answer more than likely is just that they don't have anything worth showing off. Only time will really tell what exactly the state of things internally are and what exactly the future for Overwatch holds, but I will say, for the time being, things aren't looking too terribly bright. But then again, when have they ever when it comes to Overwatch? Not in many, many years it seems, and yet there are those of us still here, still playing the game, still somehow finding a way to enjoy it. So on that note, I would love to hear your thoughts on all this in the comments down below. Were you disappointed to not see any Overwatch at this year's Summer Game Fest or during the Xbox Showcase? Do you think it has a similar reason to why BlizzCon 2024 has been cancelled? What do you think the reason for this is? Is it because there really just isn't anything new and exciting to show off for the game at this point? Or is there some other reason that Blizzard has been holding back? Either way, thank you so much for watching, and as always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe, hit up that bell icon, follow me on X, and join my Discord server to hang out, and never miss any of my future Overwatch 2 news, streams, and other content. And special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible. If you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards, then just hit that join button down below. Otherwise, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day. Bye.